and welcome! If you are a beginner or an experienced airsoft player but a very cheap kind of one, then let me introduce you to the M9 made by HTTI. It does not blow back, so uh, yeah, too bad. But hey, for its price of nearly $33, you shouldn't have high expectation from it. But it can surprise you sometimes. It lasts about 3 mags before you have to refill, and it's so lightweight, you'll, sell, you'll swear it's hollow on the inside. Made from plastic, thought you didn't expect metal, at least on the outside. I think the mag weighs more than the gun itself. And oh, the mags are okay, they hold the gas, but the base plate can just fly without any warning and you'll wake up in the middle of the fight without any BBs in it, or spring, or follower, and then you'll have to go back and search for them in the dirt. I've seen that this gun can take both, green gas and CO2. Though CO2 could damage the gun more over time or be too powerful in that regard, whatever you choose, let me tell you this. Once the BB leaves that gun, that little piece of plastic is powered by magic. That's how you hit your enemies. You, or at least I, can't see where the BBs go 90% of the time. It can shoot up to 25 meters away. I haven't tried more because, let's be real, you want to use a handgun at such a distance anyway. Not this thing. You'll probably just have it sit in a holster most of the cases, and when you do actually get to use it, it will be in close quarters at a maximum of 15 meters or much less than that. For what it is, it does its job. That of a backup in case of emergency. It has a hop-up system, sure, but from what I've heard it's not that good. It can reset or something like that, I don't know. I didn't have any such problems. I still don't know how to adjust the hop-up. If you understand it, then good for you, cause it confuses the fuck out of me. I think I got how to work the hop-up system now. Clockwise for more and the other way for less. I should keep that in mind. From my experience, you can abuse this thing. It's cheap, it's reliable, durable, it continues to work, it's functioning. I have it for about two years at least and I haven't took it once for maintenance since I got it. If you have small hands like me, then look out for the vertex variation of it. It has a flat grip and you may hold it better. Uh, it doesn't have a rail, so it will be harder to get an accessory for it, but I bet you won't need one for this. The sides are not white dotted, it has a safety on the right side of the frame, that you can use using your trigger finger. Um, you can cock the hammer if you want your first shot to be lighter. One thing to watch out for is that if you dry fire it without a mag, the small metal rod or pin, does there will get stuck inside. Today is working how it should be. You can always get a pen, shove it down, jiggle it around till the pin is back where it should be. STTA made other non-blowback pistols if you'd like to look at something other than an M9. They all function the same and have the same simple mechanism. I don't think there are spare parts for them though. All in all, this gun is not something extraordinary, it's not something awesome. It does its job as secondary, but that's it, you can't upgrade it, and even if you could, you shouldn't do it. It doesn't look like you can get any more performance other than what it has to offer right off the box. Look at it as the cheapest guest gun available on the market. And with all that being said, I will see you next time. Bye.